Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm the Packle. I am a speedrunner of many Tony Hawk games. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about specifically Project 8, 80%, 360 slash PS3. So, to preface uh, 360 and PS3, there are like three different versions of the game. There's 360 and PS3, which are the same version, it's just console difference. Uh, there is the version with PS2 and Xbox. Uh, that game is pretty much completely different in pretty much every facet. So it's separated from the 360 and PS3, um, and there's also PSP, which is also completely different in other regards. Uh, so we're specifically going to talk about 360 plus PS3, the one that has the most runners, aka only three opposed to one. So this is pretty much talking about that. So uh, before we start though, I do have to talk about one thing and one thing in particular. Let's go back to the Xbox menu. Uh, there is a patch for this game readily available as soon as you start up the game. However, if you're going to be speedrunning this game, I heavily suggest that you do not run it. Uh, the patch version is at 30 FPS, and it doesn't even fix any of the performance issues with the game. Uh, additionally, if you play unpatched, which is what both Papa Fog and I play on, you will have a lot better times. For whatever reason, 60 FPS is a lot faster. Go figure. Uh, but if you have it downloaded, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to System, go to Storage, Hit Y button on over the hard drive and clear system cache. This will remove all active patches that you have, and you'll be forced to re-download them as soon as you start up the game. I already have that done, so whenever I start up the game, it's going to be like, Hey, yo, uh, we have a patch. I have to cancel out of it every single time. So, while we're loading up, there is a difference between both 360 and PS3, mainly in the difference in load times. PS3 is a little bit slow in loads, and is also a little bit laggier in some areas. That said, 360 is still really, really lagging in a lot of areas and still has some decent loads. It's not amazing, but it's not great either. Ah, music, go away. Thank you. Excellent. All right, so to set up for the game, uh, if you want, here's all the options. There's not really a whole lot to go over. Obviously, make sure, which one is it? That's not it. Uh, where's that? Actually, it was in control. In game, there's a setting for a speed. Make sure that's set at 10. Apparently, you can change your skater to have like more realistic speeds, a la IRL, but it's dumb, so don't do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, to set for a save, you are allowed to create a character, customize them, and save after the intro cutscene. Uh, so right after the intro, uh, once you make your character, the cutscene is pretty much explained that Tony Hawk is in town, and he's saying, hey, I have a new thing, Project 8. I want the best skaters to be on this team. So that cutscene is about 20 seconds long, and to cut out on all that and having to redo it every single time, uh, you can create your character, and as soon as the cutscene is done, you're allowed to save your game. So my save right now, let me actually load the correct save. Uh, no, that's the classic save, not the skater save. No, dude. Ah, my controller, why? Anyway, so my save is set up so right afterwards. You're not allowed to do anything else. And it's easy for us to tell because if you get a gap, if you get a, a, a secret spot, if you do any goals, uh, we will tell. We can tell because you will be off of rank 200, which is where the game starts you off at. You go from rank 200, and at the very end of the game, you are, you are uh, contesting to get into Project 8. So it's very easy for us to tell. So don't try to fib it. Once it's loaded in, we can start career. Uh, whenever you start off the career, you'll be starting in suburbia in your garage. And the route is pretty laid out. There's really no difference anymore. There used to be a lot of differences in terms of how to do the route, but now everything is kind of set in stone. Uh, but anyways, this is, we're gonna start from here. Uh, what we're gonna be doing immediately is uh, right over where this tree's at in front of me, there is a secret spot up above it. Uh, the simplest way and fastest way to do it is to do a double butt slap up to it and just uh, uh, bank drop onto the other side of the plant, the planter, and you can go straight to the first goal. You'll be prompted immediately for you got your ranking increase. Make sure you hit back to game. Go to rankings. It's just like a long 10 second cutscene showing all the rankings and how much work you have ahead of you. So back to game and you just immediately talk to this lady. Uh, now, now in this game, you are given, for every goal, there is an AM, a Pro, and a Sick rating. What we're doing in any percent is we're going straight for AM rankings. Now you might be asking, why don't we go for Pro and Sick? 
but that is because they do not affect your rankings up to the top eight. They only affect your rankings after you get into it. So to get into Project 8, you need M. To get into the top four of the Project 8, you need Pro. To get become the number one skater, you need to get sick. So just keep that in mind. Anytime you see uh, us get Pro or sick, it's just by coincidence. It has no effect on the run whatsoever. So for this one, we just need to do a quick 180 flip. And once we're done with that, we are going to go over here to the right, and we are going to start a spot challenge. I guess I'm going to explain pot challenges, but pretty much all throughout the world, you see these like graffiti uh, cans. They pretty much mark saying, hey, you can do this graffiti challenge or this uh, spot challenge to get a free rank up. Uh, so this one's just a quick grind, and that's all you're going to be doing right here. Uh, while we're waiting, I mean, while we're getting ready to start, one thing you can do is that this game has built in drop down. So if you are grinding any surface, if you hit the right trigger, you will drop down. So just keep that in mind because we'll be using that throughout the run. So it's just a simple just grind. You can just do this. And what afterwards, we'll be running right over here to dad. Alright, so this one is just a straight up just uh, spine transfer challenge. So right there as you saw i went ahead and grabbed this gap in this game gaps are very very important in the run uh throughout the run we'll be getting a lot of gaps on top of special tokens and they are required uh to get to, to have a certain amount by a certain point of the game to put in order to proceed to the uh end game so if you don't have enough you'll be forced to do a couple extra goals which loses time so you want to get as much as you can while still being optimal of what you're doing so this one's right in front of us all we have to do is just jump on this uh this grill onto the pool and that's it and i go ahead and get special in the process all we're doing here is fine transferring over and over again well, after we do this third this third one uh we will hit uh r1 or uh right bumper twice and it'll do a quick turnaround and then we just continue onwards Then you just get over here to dad and quickly go back over here. And now on this challenge, we have to do the exact same thing with the fine transfers, but we also do grab tricks at the same time. Uh, so what we're waiting for is here is that um, once that camera on the top right switches to this, we're pretty much allowed to do the grab and transfer. If you do it too soon, it will not give it to you. So like this. You're allowed to do this, wait a second, and then spine transfer the grab, and it didn't give it me for some reason. That's strange. Shouldn't be doing that. You got Foxy, kid. But the, those two, those first two, you might have to delay a little bit. So if you come over here like this, you'll get quickly back over here to dad, plus you'll get a free gap. Do it one more time. Quickly spine transfer, then revert, or, um, turn around, do a flip, and go back over to him. Now we are going to do this next challenge, which is a quick just not a spin. There's like there's only two or three not a spin challenges this entire run. So we, all you have to do is just do this, just manual, come over here and get that, and we're good. You'll be prompted to watch a video, hit the back button to see it. That's the only time you'll see it throughout the entire run, because we'll be setting up a trick very shortly. You want to go ahead and jump up here, grab this secret spot, drop down here and talk to him. Now for this wall plant, what we're going to do is as soon as we wall plant, we will immediately press L1, L2, R1, and R2 at the exact same time. In this game, there is a bail mechanic where you can force yourself to bail. And if you do that as soon as you wall plant into this, it makes the cutscene go a lot faster. And you go into space. Uh, throughout the game as well, you'll also get notifications to save. Um, they should be at roughly the exact same points every single time as long as you're consistent. Uh, but every single time you want to make sure you cancel just drop down here and talk to this guy again Now when you're doing film challenges The exact same moves will be the same throughout every single run. There's no difference whatsoever So for this case we'll do any flip any grab any flip any grab any flip and we're going to end the goal All right, but that for but that format is the same throughout you'll always have the exact exact moves through every single film goal So as long as you, um, as long as the move shows up in the trick screen and it increments by one, you are allowed to end the goal. If you do it too soon, it will completely end the goal and you have to redo the, that entire goal altogether. 
but since we did the trick, as soon as we hit end run and we land cleanly, uh, maybe land land properly, then it will give it to us and end the goal. We're gonna mash X so we can go ahead and talk to Rodney. And this is the introduction of pro goals. Throughout the game, we're gonna be doing four pro goals. Rodney is required no matter what you're doing. Like the only way to get out of suburbia is to actually do Rodney's goal because he's talking about one of the new mechanics, which is nail the trick. So he's required, but we're gonna do three others throughout the run. Uh, we're gonna do Paul Rodriguez, uh, two guys I can't remember, and uh, Day One. Uh, but we'll get to them later on in the run. Uh, but for this one, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to, as soon as we hit A, uh, we're going to jump and then hit L3 and R3, which is the buttons for your control sticks together, and it will put you into nail the trick. And then we're going to hit fl flick down and hold down on the left thumb stick, and it will allow us to do a kickflip with nail the trick. Uh, now, you would think, yeah, we should go over the nail the trick portion right away, as you see in this thing, but actually, it doesn't matter at all. Um, as long as you do it, you're good. So, nail the trick, do this. And then as soon as we are we are allowed to land it, we're going to let go of the left thumbstick, and we're going to immediately get off our board. Cave manning is L2, I mean, I mean L1 and R1, or both bumper buttons for the game, uh, Xbox controller. So that way we can instantly get out of the cutscene quickly. So pretty much is the exact same thing for this one as well, is just going over this, but we're doing a shove it. Doing the exact same thing. Then we're gonna do both at the same time. You can, it doesn't really matter what you do for this one, but I always do left up and right up. That was pretty good. Skip this. All right, now we have to do a trick with the grip tape uh, down and the trunks up. So what I do is I flick both to the left, wait for it to flip a little bit, then flip to the right, and that will count like this. And now you have to do, now you have to do is do a combo for 3000 points. And that's good. Right on. So right here, um, I'm not going, I'm going to pause here for a second. Um, now this is a very important thing that we're about to do throughout the run. If casually, you will see that you will have phone notifications from random people saying, Hey, you got sponsored by so-and-so, or Hey, this event's available. You should go do it. That's slow and it destroys your momentum during the run because it can happen at random points sometimes and be delayed at other points and it can just ruin everything. So what we're doing is a trick known as phone skip. So as soon as we get out of this cutscene, we are gonna hit start and go back to the main menu. Not immediately because if you do it too soon, you will crash the game. But like you give it like a split second, then do it. You'll be able to quit back to the main menu, return to the game and you will no longer have phone notifications for the rest of the run. Do note that you have to do this mid-run. You cannot set this up before the run starts. So like that. Now we're going to get back into the game. And we're going to be back up here at the very top of the skate street. Or skate park. Alright, now we have to do a couple goals up here before we proceed. We have the ability to unlock uh, Main Street. But we're going to go ahead and do a couple goals over here since this is pretty convenient. Uh, there is a... The spot challenge right here that we're going to be able to go ahead and do. It's just, just an easy grind. Then you jump, get off your board, retry last goal. Uh, you'll be seeing that throughout the run. We'll be doing retry last goal a lot. Just to get back to where we were. Um, because a lot of times there are other goals around each other at the start. And or there are uh, spots or gaps that we have to get. So when we retry last goal, get up here. Jump up here. Or grab this token then jump down here to this nail the trick now this one is just performed two tricks but there are specific ones we have to do up on top of this pole there is a secret spot that we want to get so what we're going to do is as soon as we get into the nail the trick we are going to um before we get into the nail the trick, we're going to boneless into it then we're going to hit a flick up on the right thumbstick and hold it for two rotations. Then we're going to do it with the left thumbstick for two rotations. Then we're going to end goal and it should give it to us. Like so. One, two. Do it for that one. One, two. Get off our board. Didn't give it to us because I'm bad. Press again. I'm bad. It's not the hardest thing ever, but it's really dumb. That's not either. Ah, I'm screwing this up. All 
All right, get our board. Now we just retry goal, and we get up here. That's how you get it. If you fail it, you can always quit goal, jump twice, so you can get back full control, and just do a double, triple butt stop up there to get it. Um, the reason you jump twice is because uh, the game kind of takes away like some ability, I mean your butt stopping abilities, if you do it too soon. So if you jump twice, you pretty much gain back complete control from the mission. So we're going to quit goal. Then over here, the spot challenge for a manual. You don't have to do a spacewalk, but I always do that. And we have to hit this one and then land it. Then we want to quickly, with our speed, go over here, wall plant, get that. And then run over here, jump on this, get speed. Then we'll just do a no comply of bonus over here, get this secret token, jump up here. Go down bow this way for another secret spot. I mean, I mean another spot challenge with manualing, land it, and just run over here where we have to do the unlock challenge. For this one, I will say, beware, this hitbox is pretty garbage, but all you have to do is just jump over it. And it should give you it, like it did right there. So this is the only time you can be doing sketching throughout the entire run. You just sketch, it will let go automatically, jump, do a wall plant, bail immediately, and you'll get it. Easy done. Uh, you can, most text boxes you can also mash out of if you are fast enough. Um, but just keep that in mind. If you don't get it, oh well, it's only like maybe half a second of that. Uh, so we're gonna continue, and we're gonna just go over here and talk to Jason Lee. Uh, this is one of the only few cutscenes that we're gonna have to watch throughout the run. Alright, now we have to go through uh, four specific spots throughout all Main Street. Over here at the school steps, as you see, up on Hilltop. The capital in City Park, and we had to make our way back to Jason. We all you do is just simple 1,000 point combos. There's nothing super difficult that we have to do. This is just the introduction to what stokens are, how the, and how they work. Okay, so we're gonna jump over here. So what I'm doing right here, by the way, so we don't have a time schedule, so this is fine. But what I'm doing right here is, um, I have a method. Uh, you you can do it like normal, where you just jump like this but i'd kind of do quick quick ones like this it's, it's pretty much personal personal preference but for this i pretty much just claw my hand that way i'm always using my index finger to um hold down the grind button and i'm using my thumb to quickly jump it doesn't really matter it there's no really no difference in terms of doing that and doing this from what i see from just using your thumb but again it's just all personal preference so back to this and get over here, get combo started, land right in front of them. And then we make our way down this way and up the hill to hilltop. Again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Land in front of these guys, quick turn around. Then we want to jump down here about that specific jump point get this secret token jump down here land in front of them go ahead and get this gap right here or right here get another combo going this one's pretty lenient land right there now they're stoked now we have to make a way to the skate uh the the skate shop as you saw right there i did skip out like one text box so right here as well is this one's dumb i will say this there is a secret spot up there um that we need to get there are two times throughout the run that you are going to yeah i'm gonna be highlighting this there are two times throughout the run that you will be seeing that token uh, or give it get a chance to get it you can either get it right now or uh you will have to come back later when you're doing a pro mission so if you want to go for it right now, um, then what you have to do is you pretty much have to do a butt slap off of this or off of this. Either way, it works. Um, Papa Fog does the the last one. I do the first one. Um, it's just pretty much all personal preference. As long as you get it, you're good to go. So let me go ahead and turn this back around. Like that. Grab that. Jump down back here. And go talk to Jason Lee again. Yeah, you can download bots. Check out this skate shop. These guys are my friends. I'm sure they'll hook you up with a new deck. 
Skating for stereo should help you get noticed, but if you want a shot at making the Project 8 team, you got to do what you can to move up the ranks. Everything you do will get you more exposure. Skating gaps, doing demos, jam sessions, all that stuff. Considering you're ranked near the bottom, you better skate as much as you can. I'll give you a call when I hear of anything that can help you out. In the meantime, skate hard and have fun. <coughs> Alright, this one go away automatically. As soon as we do that, we're going to turn it back around. Um, wait for the save box to come up. Cancel out of that. Then we're going to do a nail trick right here. So what we're going to do is right here, we are not going to go up this. We are going to boneless past it. And we're going to do a quick nail trick to get 3,000 points. Like so. So that way we land a little bit faster. Uh, we quickly turn around back over here so we can start this bowling one. All right, now there is a few ways you can do this. Uh, I'm going to show the newest way and easiest way. You can always just do this normally, but as you'll see, bailing mechanics in this game are dumb. They don't make sense, and you very inconsistent. So this is a consistent way that we found, and it works really well. Plus, you also get a secret token, which cuts it out from having to do it later, and it saves a bit of time in the process. So as soon as we do this, we're going to jump over here. We're going to do a double bust up up here. If you don't get up here, what you can do is if you hold down the R1 or right bumper, you should be able to wall run. You can jump up here, grab the token, jump down here. Not like that. Land like that, and it will knock down all the pins. Because the shockwave of the, you know, you landing was enough to knock them all down. Uh, so you can do that, or you can do it normally, or... If you want to be fancy, you can just do that, but you don't get the secret token that way. That's just a couple of the ways you can do this if you don't want to do it the normal way. Uh, luckily, this is like the only time you have to do a bowling type thing, and this makes what helps with the consistency. Uh, however, do note, until you force yourself to bail or go over this line, it does not really count. As soon as you do this, it counts at all. Then you quickly hit A to get back up. Then retry goal or retry run, quit out of it, turn around, and we're going to go ahead and do this spot challenge with the grind. We're going to drop down as soon as we get it, then drop come right over here. This one's going to be a 180 sh pop shove it over the steps. Now I will say the uh, the it is a little weird for this one as well. Uh, you have to make sure you go completely over the steps. You can't or the rail over the steps. You can't just like do it at a weird angle you actually have to i'll show you like if you do it like right here and you still make it it's not going to count the best way to do it is like that you just you want to make sure you have a good angle going over it instead of just trying to wing it you want to make sure you can clear it by a lot if you know what i mean uh, as soon as we do that we'll retry goal turn around come over here quick goal you want to start this one it's again this is another two trick combo so i'm just doing this one because this one I always do then we'll come over here then we're going to do a, a spacewalk over here and do the spot challenge with the manual. Land it. Uh, we'll, if you have all of the secret spot tokens at this point and enough, uh, and you go from rank 171 to 170, you will be prompted to save. During this time, it does not matter. Um, uh, it, it won't allow you to start, hit the start button. So you're going to have to wait for this to pop up, cancel, restart, re go, start, retry last goal so you can start the next goal together. A trick requires a 180. Does it still count if you do a 360 or more? Yes, it does. This game is not like Thug One or any other games where it's like it has to be specifically. Uh, you can just do more and it will still count. So we're gonna get off our board, come over here and talk to him. So this one's going to be again, it's a pretty easy combo. Grab, manual, grind, flip, manual, grind, like that. As soon as we're done, I'm gonna end run. Then we we'll come over here and we we'll start a classic goal. Now there are a bunch. There are eight classic goals throughout the run. We do all of them this run. So if you're bad at classic, I suggest getting at least kind of decent at them. Um, there's a couple of backups that I can show you if you're absolutely trash at classic. Um, but I can. I'll start off with what the easiest one is. This one we are going for combo, and we're going for pro. Uh, we're going for combo. I'll show you. We're going the, the the ones we always go for now are high score, pro score, six score, high score. And combo that's enough to go into a uh, finish ram, uh, ram and it'll allow us to continue with the run um if you get more cool but i doubt that so we're gonna reach our goal 
And this is the combo that I do. That way I have I know I have an over 400,000 points. If you are bad at it, um, then that's fine. What you can do is you can do this. Like if you're really bad at comboing. You can drop down here. You can come up, go over here. Drop down here. Spine transfer into this pizza. Then get over here. And you can grab this secret to, uh, secret disc. And that will be enough for five as well. But again, that does take a bit of time. And if you can get out of not doing that, that's great. So let me go ahead and do this one more time. If, but if you, of course, this is not the set combo. If you're really good at comboing and you want to make your own combo that does the exact same thing, go for it. Like this is a combo I do because it's very consistent. So the objective is to get 400,000 points, come over here and, and run, um, and get over here to the next goal as soon as possible. Now, after this goal, most likely you'll be prompted saying, hey, you got a special stat, check your stats. If you hit A, then hit B quickly, you'll be able to cancel out of that and start this one. So we're doing a triple kick flip. Pretty easy. Then we're going to retry goal. Then we're going to turn around. Quick goal. And then go ahead and talk to this guy. Now, do know it doesn't really matter where you end goal or anything like that. I just, this is kind of how I did things back in the day when I started playing this game. And I just continued doing it. Uh, because some goals will lock your movement or lock what you're doing for a very small amount of time. So if you can quit goal during momentum, it helps a little bit. Um, so again, this is another preset combo. If you can't get this grind right here, ah, uh, that's not a grind. Ah, uh, it's not a grind either. Ah, uh, hold on, let me try this again. Ah, bad. If you can't get this grind right here, it's fine because you can grind right here. And just end goal. Now we're going to do another spot challenge right here. We're going to install. To stall, all you have to do is hit right trunk, try trigger, and grind, and you'll do a stall. A la, like, you know, thaw. So we're going to do, a, we're going to be jumping between these. So we can get to this. And then this is like, this is how you would do it if you were trying to go for like pro or sick or whatever. But again, we're, all we're doing is am. So we're just going to do this. Jump, get off our board, it will give us the rank. Then we're going to jump down here quickly. It will grind us. Grab that secret token. Come over here. Set it up. Then we can get this manual. Then land it. Uh, then we can get this acid drop. The easiest way I found now is to just don't go over this like rail or this um, fence or whatever. Uh, you want to jump like right here on this edge. That way you can just jump back slightly and acid drop. Then we can come over here and just grab two free gaps. And not bail. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you don't give you don't get both gaps. You can get plenty more later. It's just for a little bit more safety. Um, right here, we are doing a uh, another one of the bails. Um, this one is a bit inconsistent sometimes, but it's not as inconsistent as some of the others. What you will have to do is now you have to break bones. Bones are your enemy because you will go flying up into space, come down, and you may not even break a bone. But if you get like like a small tap on the foot, you'll probably break all of your bones. It makes no sense. The bone mechanic is dumb. So there is a way to make this a little bit easier. If you run into an object, site, say a side of a building, you have a greatly, you have a greater chance of it actually breaking bones. So while here I was boneless, that's not how you do it. That's what I mean, it's boneless, bail, come over here. And I kind of hit an object. Uh, the ground sometimes does not give it to you, but get the general idea. You want to run into an object so that way you can break as many bones as possible. Because the ground, a lot of time, does not break enough bones. So when we try goal right here. I said retry goal. Uh, so you saw right there, there's going to be a, a there was a uh, option to save the game. Make sure before you start to nail the trick that you cancel out of that. Because if you don't, it will take priority over this screen and you'll be soft locked. So make sure you give it an extra second to go from that to go when it counts down the rank and it asks you to save to do this to uh, cancel out of the save box 
Otherwise, you'll have a soft. Uh, you'll get a soft luck, and you'll be forced to quit, quit out of the game. So we just need six thousand points. You want to get all in one combo, like so. That way, you can just cancel out of this. If you hit left L L three and R three at the same time, you can cancel out of that. It makes it a little bit faster. What's required to become rank one number one? Doing everything, uh, pretty much everything. Yes, everything on sick at least, or most things on sick. Yeah, it's a certain amount. I don't remember which ones, though. What the exact number is. Next, okay, so now that we're done with that, there is a spot challenge over here of grinding. Grind, jump to the left, get that, jump to the right. And then now we're going to do a quick own challenge. Own challenges are pretty much graffiti challenges. We just have to hit the lines in one combo and land it once we get am. So let me show the exact movement I do for this. Because it looks kind of cool if you do it right. No, dude. As long as you land into this, you get a free re retry last goal and come over here. Then we need to talk to the security guard. The reason we do that is so we can activate the second part of that quest to, or that mission to unlock the school. Then we come over here and talk to Paul Rodriguez. Now, Another pro, uh, his pro challenges are pretty simple. All we have to do is just do eight completely separate grinds. Then we have to do like a quick skit, a quick run over to his like second part of his goal, and just do a couple more grinds, and that's it. So it's best to know which. It's best to have your own like like combination of grinds you want to do. Say for me, I tried doing up grind down grind left grind right grind as soon as i can that way all i have to know i know what i have to do now is just do double tap grinds and also dark side counts so let me show you that's three get that if you get six or seven on that one that's good i messed it up but if roughly you want to get that done in about 10 seconds 15 seconds is still not bad as soon as we're done talk, uh, done with that, we can cancel out of that. Now we have to do eight tricks. We're going to do a kickflip. Uh, kickflip. Ah, kickflip. Kickflip, heel flip, pop shove it. Impossible. Burial kickflip, burial heel flip, hard flip, and inward heel flip. And now we have to do just follow on. 50 50 counts, yes. All right, now for this one, all we do is just to do four completely separate grinds. That's four. Now we just have to grind it out and not bail. And we're done. Next one, turn around, and we're going to go ahead and set for this spot challenge. This is another grinding one. And then we're going to jump over here, grab this gap, and just continue this movement over here to start this spot challenge with another grind. But this one, however, as soon as we start it, you'll hear the uh, note, uh, you'll hear that the there's like a sound effect that start uh, that goes off whenever you start it. Um, you want to retry goal as soon as you hear it, so that way you can quickly come over here and grab this secret spot token. Then retry goal again and do this properly. The way the clap is a little is creepy. Yeah, it's a little weird. Like Nerosov was never good at character models or anything. So when we get that, go and jump over here. Next, we have a distance spot challenge. There's a quick no comply over there is fine. Then we're going to turn around to the left and we're going to try going over here to this lady. Try to do a double spot slap over the gap. Now, this counts for crook grind and over crook grind. So you can get, if you get a crooked grind, that's fine. Or if you get one foot crook, uh, foot, one foot crook, that's actually, this doesn't count. Interesting. Ah. Ah. You get what I mean. Overcooked and crook grind is fine. Like either one with count. I don't know why one foot didn't. I'm gonna turn around and grab and grab this spot challenge. Only spot challenge. This uh, secret spot. Then we jump over here and talk to this guy. Again, it's a preset combo. As soon as we land it and run, turn around. Have to reach reach try goal. Come over here and run then we're gonna start this we're gonna start a nail trick this one is different we have to go 150 feet so it doesn't really matter which one you do so i'm just gonna do this i 
land it, retry run. Then we're going to jump over here and talk to the colonel. Who will allow us to get into school. So that's why I just go over here, go to the right. Then we will grab this uh, the thingy. Uh, as soon as we do that, now we have to grind all three of those security nodes so we can get the hell out of here. Uh, so the one way I discovered what you can do is, as soon as you grind this, you can wall ride, you can wall ride that wall, so you can quickly get over here and gain speed. And if you do it properly, you should be able to have a wall of speed doing all three of these. Then you just drop down after you get all three. Then you have to wait like around five to ten seconds, wait for it to completely go up. Then you can go out. It's going through a cutscene of showing you what the fuck you're doing. Uh, but we're not even going to do half of this. And by that, I mean there's supposed to be a slow-mo section. We're going to cancel out the slow-mo. That drop-down that drop stuff I said from earlier, if you do it over here as soon as the slow-mo starts, it cancels out the slow-mo. Drop down. Through here. I fucked up the movement. Why did I quit goal? I'm bad, dude. I put out the goal. Let me do it again properly. How about that? I was trying to show like stuff normally and then I fucked it up. You can also do a triple butt slap over here to get it, but it's a time triple butt slap, which is a lot harder to do. Um, even I have problems with it, so I don't suggest doing that unless you want to YOLO it. Um, but if you do it properly, you can get that, that tape or that uh, disc really, really fast. So that's the proper way, fast way of doing it. Ah, bad. Mm, drop down, boneless, jump into here, and that's it. Now we're going to talk to day one. Cancel, talk to him, master, make sure you press A because there's another text notification that would say you unlock somebody, but um, you can actually cue it into that cutscene as soon as you start it and go into black. It will it look like nothing, like something is just paused, but as long as you mash the Ollie button, it will cancel out that text box altogether. So this one, all we gotta do is just grind, hard flip, manual, and then land, and that's it. Now this part over here, these two parts are, used to be like reset points because this is actually a lot more difficult than it looks. So this introduces you to the idea that you can actually adjust the terrain in the world. So we'll move this, um, as soon as you gain control, you can't just like quickly grab it. Um, because if you do that, the game's gonna be like all objects are already in use. So you actually have to move over one, move back to the school bus, then you can move it over here to the very end. Then you can grab this, uh, uh, this uh, rail move it up, grab the other school bus and move it up. And then you're gonna do a quick like combo or line over to the platform that you need to land at. That was awesome. Now for this one, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move up, grab this school bus and then move it to this spot. And then we're gonna... All right, so I did it right, properly right there, but I can show you again. Uh, this is a little difficult because you need speed to get onto that rail, but you've got too much speed, you overshoot that rail at the very end. So if you're not careful, you can easily overshoot it on one of those and you'll hate your life. But as soon as you get on that rail, you want to get jump off the rail and jump again, uh, rail, uh, grind again. So that way you can get a little bit extra speed. That way, as soon as you, you can jump up, you have enough speed to hit the bench. And as soon as you hit the bench, you want to bail immediately. Then we're going to move over to the left. Then we're going to get ready to start another stop spot, spot challenge. Then as soon as we do this, get the gap, I'll land it. Then we're going to come over here and talk to her. Now I have to do is just do a kickflip over the awning, you know, on the awning gap, kickflip. 
We try goal. Quit goal. Talk to this guy. Another preset combo. Now this is where lag starts to become a factor. This is where you might be asking, oh, okay, it's not that laggy. But now it's starting to get a little bit laggy. Some this area in particular is really, really bad about the lag. So if you're not good about dealing with lag, have fun. But this one, this goal was probably one of the hardest ones in the game, mainly in due to how laggy it can be. So is another classic goal. Uh, what we're going for again is we're going for the standard combo, get all the scores as well. We want to get six score and all in one combo. Oh. Also, also a fact. Double, double impossible sucks in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and get a combo going. Again, it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, bad. Oh my god, hello? Can I just do a bonus? There we go. It doesn't really matter what combo you use as long as you get enough points to satisfy the six score of, I believe, yeah, 600,000. This is my line. You can copy it if you wish, because it's pretty safe. Um, we have to get the secret token over here. Um, if we don't get it, it's fine. But if you do a double butt slap, you'll always have enough speed and enough jump to get that. And that's a million points, which is more than enough when end run. If you fail it, though, I'll show you. Actually, if you fail it, um, then you can always. I'm bad. Just do this, and you'll grab it that way. And just we try goal and grab it like here. But you want to, of course, you want to get in there in that combo, so you don't have to do that. Do that. Um, uh, do that own challenge over here, and then talk to her. Now I'm going to just do a stiffy over the gap. Bonus stiffy. We'll come over to the right. Not bail. And we're going to do this one. This one's going to ask you to try and spin with your body 180 degrees. You can't spin with the left or right. Uh, you can't spin with the left thumbstick as you can with normal tricks. You have to use the RB, or LB, or L1 or R1 buttons. So, as soon as you get that, just land it, retry, run. Then you want to jump up here so you can get the speed. Then you are going to wall ride this, then jump so you can make that gap. Then quick goal. And there's gonna be another same notification cancel out of it then we went jump over here and we gonna get this uh bot challenge with height doesn't really matter what we get here we might get end up getting sick we did um but of course you want am so what i did right there is one reason i like having a claw set up for my um controller if you grind into this then if you quickly grind and jump and grind um, you should be able to grind to the very top of that and get over there faster the old run uh, old route used to uh, you, sometimes it doesn't work like that but sometimes we, we used to be able uh, to do this race but we routed it out because it's slow so that's the proper way to do it not bailing of course there's also a squirrel and then we come over here and do this nail trick this one we'll do is do three number rotations so we're just gonna do one rotation, two rotation, three rotation, land it. We have another uh, another spot challenge of height. Get am. Then we're gonna go over here and do the suburbia classic. This is again another one of those ones we're gonna go for six score. Um, I recently routed this in so that way we could get sick. Um, it's a very specific combo, but of course if you have a better combo, go for it. Um, but you want 400,000 points by the end of this of this line. If not, you'll be forced to kind of go after the uh, secret disc, which isn't much time loss, but still, you don't really want to go for it. I'm bad, dude. And that's more than enough points to get 400,000. And land it, we're good to go. If you don't get enough, you can always just jump up here, grab this secret tape, uh, secret disc, land, and, and run. Get the way it works. Then we're gonna talk to her. 
And we're going to, we're not going to do the we're not going to do the gold just yet. We're actually going to go up uh jump up this uh pool so we can gain speed, then drop that down, do a chill bus lap or however many bus ups is required, double triple to get that secret spot token, retry goal. Then we are actually going to do the actual goal. So we get that. Well, then we're going to go over here. That was weird. And we're going to go after this own challenge. This will be the last time you'll be in suburbia for the rest of the run. Now that one's a really late ollie. Um, it may look like you shouldn't be able to make that. Sometimes you may, may not make that jump. You have to make sure you do a really, really late ollie. As in like almost at the very end of the fence. Like that. And as soon as you do that, you just run over here, try and that. You can come over here and talk to this lady. Who will get you do a transfer photo. Simple transfer of tail grab, retry run. Quick goal. Then we're gonna do another classic right here. We're gonna go again and go for sick. Uh, we used to go for, there is a cup. Like there, there would be like a cup like thing we would um that would appear over here in that pool down below and we'd have to like lip it all the way up that's slow so i uh, i brought it in the ability to get six score with it Beloved. but if you're bad at comboing you can always go for it i can show you it but we need to get what was it another six hundred thousand points right here this game is not really difficult That's plenty then we would end run but let's say you're bad and you don't really aren't really good at comboing what you can do is um, as when you're doing this combo you can as soon as you get this uh, the O come over here and grind up to this so you keep your speed and then jump up and lip this and lip it all the way down and uh, have it crash and it will count that way as well So we want to retry goal, then cancel out of that, and re end the goal completely, so we can continue this way. And there's going to be a spot challenge right here with the manual. This is another very laggy section, so I'll show you something you can do. As soon as you get uh, you jump, press pause, so that way it gives it a, the game a second of a chance to load. Unpause, and then miss it completely. Um, even then, you'll probably end up missing this anyways. Um, you'll be forced to re either retry last goal, or just getting back in position. But what we have to do is just quickly wall ride to that spot and then jump and fly up and grab the ladder. Like so. Let me just gonna climb up the ladder. Now there's gonna be a, a bit of a menuing section right here. Uh, we're going to start this and complete this one. But we're going to be actually using that spot challenge as a way to get back up here really fast several times. Grab, finish that. And then we can come over here and wall ride this. I said wall ride that. And then we're going to go over here and grab this secret token in this water tower. And then we're going to retry last goal. And then we'll go over here and just do this epic gap. To get the, the gap and also get this token. Retry last goal. Then, um, we want to jump down here, get that gap as well, winter gap. Bust up up here and get that antenna one. Then we'll quickly do this own, ch uh, this own challenge. Drop down here. And as, uh, if you're doing it properly, that should give you rank 107. And you'll be able to, uh, if you don't have rank 107, you might be missing something. So I suggest that you... It doesn't really matter too much in the grand scheme of things because you do go over a bit in gaps. But just be wary that there's a chance that you might have to do an extra goal later if you're not at specific gaps at specific points in the run. But as soon as we're done with that own challenge, we come over here and talk to the student and we can unlock slums. Grab the vial, quickly turn around and do a nana spin. Ah, not bad. Then we have to come over here and get this one. You give us the shack pop gap pretty much always. Like even though it doesn't look like you make it, you make it. 
So we have to go and get that last one. So I'm gonna delay this one for a second and jump. That way I can start grinding this over and over again. We used to go up there and like grind the piano, but we routed that out because it's slow. Because we go for a secret spot later. Now that we have the final vial, we're just gonna run over here. You see me jumping over and over like this. That way I keep my momentum and speed. Ah, wall run up this, not a spin that. And that is that for that goal. Cancel that, be prompted with more stuff. Cancel all that. Then you can come over here and do the spot challenge. And you're also going to do this photo challenge as well. This one is to do a boneless Indian uh, bank drop, but I go ahead and throw it as impossible there. That way I have special as soon as I'm out of this. Like so. so that, now we're done with that, we can run back over here. I'm going to jump over this. And go spine transfer down here, grab the secret token. Then we're going to jump over here, spine transfer. Now we have another spot challenge. We're going to do a manual. That way we're going to land right here. Next, we're going to start the Slums Classic. Now, this one is a bit different. Getting 800,000 points with the combo that we have is really, 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 really hard. Um, so, we opt for something a little bit easier. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going for high score, pro score, combo score, and combo. But we're also going to do light the candles. Uh, we also do light the candles because it kind of gets us kind of close to the goal next goal in the series so just keep that in mind um, but we had to get 250,000 points in one combo that's the objective here doing this uh, 180 pop shove it into dark side over and over again is a quick way to get all those points get this and that should be yep that's plenty plenty of points you don't have a lot of points, then of course you need to get 250,000. Then we're going to get up our board, jump over the candles. That will do like the candles. Then we jump over here and run, and that will complete that. Now we have to do nail the trick. Get a 5,000 points any way you can. I'm going to do my standard combo. Then we have another own challenge right here. This one's a little bit difficult because of the law of grinding. It's not really too difficult, but it can be annoying sometimes. You can easily lose control of your balance here in this game, even if you're really good at it. As soon as we get that, we'll run over here and go down here so that we can unlock the secret shortcut. And it also allows us to unlock another goal that we have to do. And it also gives us a free gap. But this gap, this goal we're about to do. Um, Ah, it will not appear normally unless you do that. But as soon as we do that, we have to pretty much the score system right here, as you can see. There is 50, 25, 10, 50, and 100. Um, what we have to do is just get 100 points and then um, then bail off this two times and we're good to go. Um, mod times, it's pretty easy to get with the 100. It takes practice though, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. But if you get 50, of course, you have to do it again. Uh, of course, you want to do it within three bales but as soon as you do that you can just bail off of this twice and it will end the goal and you have 400 points and you complete the goal next we have another spot challenge right here with another grind did not give it to me sometimes spot challenge you'd be you'd be really weird um sometimes spot challenges don't really start immediately or and sometimes they just don't start at all so you have to be cognizant about what you're doing so grind that, am, done. And grab this secret token, and then go ahead and do this wall ride. Uh, so that's a little bit of, a, not really a difficult section, but it's kind of annoying. Sometimes you will warp through this before you grab the secret token. Um, and other times, as soon, if you do it, you might actually over jump this or mess up your jump. Uh, because even though it's like a simple wall ride, it's like, like four feet. Uh, sometimes you can mess it up all together. So just be very careful about that as well. But it does give you a little bit of leeway. You land down here, you're gonna start this goal. Another easy uh, thing you have to do. I'm bad, dude. I'm bad, dude. But if you can, if you can do it, if you can do it like somehow fast like that, 
then that's that's really good um be wary about that revert though you might be like yeah revert and then it quickly end run but make sure it's in your trick stream before you do it otherwise you will cancel out the mission entirely you have to do it again Next, we're going to do a 360 Benihana over this goal, I mean this uh, wall, and then we're going to, you don't have to, but I always just, I have to drop into it so I can get the goal, a gap as well for safety, and it also gives you a little bit of speed. Um, next, we're going to have to move around some stuff around, so, stuff around so we can get the secret spot. So we just need a quarter pipe, turn it around twice with the X button, then do that. Then we'll do not a spin twice, get the M, grab the token, land it, and start this unlock goal. Ah, killed him. So, these levers have a bad hit detection, as you will probably imagine throughout the rest of the game in the series. Uh, what you're going to have to do is, you have to be very, you can't just like completely just jump, you can't do the flip trick too early, otherwise it won't count. Um, and you can't do it too late, otherwise it won't count. You have to do it at like a specific time. Um, it's pretty lenient, but it's still really dumb. Like, that's fine. That's fine. Make sure you're grinding the right thing, by the way. Don't grind too soon. All right, you got those four. That's pretty true that. Then you just drop down here and bank drop off these so that cars go flying. Then quickly drop your board and do the exact same thing. The other one you have not done. You can't get them both in one car. You can't get them both at the same time, by the way. You just don't have enough time. If you had another half seconds, it would work. Next, we need to make a kicker. Then we're going to launch ourselves onto the kicker. Then bail into it into the wall and it was should give it to us uh, sometimes it doesn't actually sometimes it just straight up will not work so you might have to do it again don't know why that happens um, even though it says you you did it or whatever you actually didn't do it so just be very careful about that as well um, after we get that unlock we're going to do quick two goals we're gonna grab this spot challenge and we're gonna come over here and talk to this lady Yo, Ruby G with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Ah, he just killed me. I right, want to do this one. Um, so you would think go for Am. Um, due to Papa, Papa Fog's suggestion, I highly, highly recommend that you actually just do it for Pro because it's a lot more consistent. Um, sometimes you will do the 180 grab, but sometimes it will not count. Several times over, I've had it a couple runs lose at this. So go for the spine transfer front flip nose grab. By, yeah, spine transfer the nose guy front flip. <laughs> and that will give it you the goal. Plus, it's for the meme. Then we're going to jump over here. And again, another preset combo 180, manual 180, grind. I actually went way too fast. Oh no, dude. I'm bad. Oh, oh, a thaw reference. Nice. What's up, Timby? So now we want to gain as much speed as we can up this as this. Because we, we, we need to have enough speed to grab this token right here. Like that. If you don't get it, you can always do a double butt slap. Um, but if you have enough speed, you shouldn't always have, you should not have to do that. Next, we're going to come over here and set up and do another spot challenge with manually. Get that. Then we're going to grind up here. Then we're going boneless ah. over th over here. Uh, now we have to do 3,000 point combo and we have to land with a grind. So, easy. So now what we're going to do is we have to run back over here to do a spot, another spot challenge, but we're also going to be doing classic uh, factory as well. I will say this is probably the hardest one in the game for new runners um, because it's not very lenient. But I'll go over some strategies you guys can do. Get the spot challenge, jump off our board, retry last goal, and then start this. Okay, there are two different routes you can do what the one i'm going to show first is the fastest route uh pretty much we're going for one million points of one combo um it's not the most difficult thing on the planet but it can actually be really tricky and it's very tight in terms of comboing uh, i can also show you the backup 
uh, the old route we used to do. Also, do note sometimes you can actually not get that secret disc. Don't know why. It just kind of just floats away. Oh, it floats out of your. Floats away so you can't get it. But that's one million points right there. Easy peasy, right? It, I've lost from to that. <laughs> but I can show you guys the simpler combo. Ah, no. I'm gonna not spin this. And it's gonna say, say you pretty much go up there and we're gonna have to put the, uh, reconnect that so it can put out the fire. And that's what you do for that goal. And it'll give you five. You end run, retry run, smash A, start, end run, continue. And you can start this pro challenge with uh, Stevie and Dustin. That's right, I forgot their names. All right, so now right here, we're going to be doing a 15,000 point combo. There's a couple ways you can do it. Well, I always do it, I do something like that. Just do a couple butt slaps and just quickly get a bunch of points off. Um, this one's, ah, this one's not too hard either. You just need to get 25,000 points, but this combo always gives you more than enough. Now you have to do the hard part, which is skate the line over the water. And if you drop, you have to restart this entire line altogether. It's pretty much just one long run. And it's also lag because there's a, a load point over here too. Like around ooh, right here is a load point. And if you're not careful, you can lo quickly lose control of your uh, balance meter and go in the wrong direction and bail. After you drop, after you do that, you want to jump up there. You want to pick up that um, secret spot token. Uh, it's kind of like into that tree. So if you just do a butt slap, like that, it should give it to you. Then we're gonna jump over here and start this own mission. Then we're gonna land that. Can you pause buffer strat that? Yes, you can. Um, but just be careful about your like balancing. That's the biggest thing. If you have bad balance, you will bail. It's really hard to recover if you have bad balance, and you just have to be very careful. Just pay extra attention to that, and you will be you should be good most of the time. Uh, once we're done with all that stuff, we just run over here and start this classic. So this one, you would think we should go for 800,000 points. It's not really too difficult, especially with the combo line we're going for. However, we are opting for something a little bit faster. We're going to be ending this run on top of Hilltop because this area is freaking huge. So, but we need to do three flips in the process. So, we'll go for high score, pro score, high sc high combo, combo, and three flips. And not bailing because I'm bad. This really isn't like a beginner strat, except for going, going slow and making sure. If you want to be like super fucking clean, you could always do a flip right here because it gives you enough time to do it. But every other time I do it, I actually don't make the grind and I land the combo early and I have to retry the goal. So, so just keep that in mind. This is one flip. We jump off this bank, do another flip, grind, and go, fly, go over here. Next, we are going to take this elevator and we'll do one more flip while we're in the air. And that's the first flip. Jump over here and run. And now we're going to start this construction crash. This one's really annoying. Um, it's very easy to get stuck up here uh, or down there to where that second fence is at and not move. So just be very careful. Um, if you're really good at mashing uh, buttons, then this is really good for you. Of course, I would get really quickly that time to be proven wrong, but it's also very easy to get stuck up there. So this one we'll be doing a few times. As soon as we get that once, we're going to um, retry goal, quit goal. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to take this line. So we can grab this secret token. 
Then we retry last goal again. Then we're going to quit goal again. Then we're going to come over here and do this acid drop secret uh, spot challenge. Uh, sometimes that one doesn't give it to you automatically, so be careful about that. You might have to retry goal another time um, and quit run and quit goal so that way you can try again. Um, this one is another one as we saw before. We just have to crash into the gates. Grab the three ones. Easy. Quickly get up. And that's it. So, right here is a hard crash moment. The if you hit if you hit the X button to retry run right now, there is like a good half second to three fourths of a second window where you can hit pause and quit the goal. If you do that, the game will hard crash. Like the entire console will crash. So you as soon as you hit retry run, wait until you see your skater on top of that gate that you were at starting at before and then do it like that it's not fun trust me next we can go over here and just do the only get there mission in the entire run uh this one's pretty quick will you demonstrate a hard crash i can try it later you tore my voice thank you <laughs> um this one this get there mission is pretty much we had to hit all the checkpoints and that's it let's go fast And then jump over here. Easy. Retry gun. Run. Very overpowered. <laughs> but that one's pretty easy right there. Um, as soon as we do that, we retry goal. Um, we cancel, quit goal. And now we have to do a, another qu uh, spot challenge mission. <laughs> you want to come back to suburbia? Might be. All right, so this one, okay, I have a setup for this that I found, and it's actually fucking consistent. Um, we used to actually just keep on grinding up there and just praying it works. But as soon as you get around this corner, and it's very lenient, wall ride, grind, wall ride. As soon as you grind again, jump to the left, and you should always make that. Let me show it again. Like, it is really, really consistent. Like, I'm really glad I found that setup because it's so free. So, like this. As soon as you get that, jump, grab that, land, get the am, land, and you're good. Then we're going to jump over here. Get that gap. I'm going to start this own mission so we can quickly come back to it in a second. Jump over here to this tower, grab this secret spot token, retry last goal, and start this going. Also, you can't skip out any of these secret spot tokens that I mentioned. They're all pretty much required. Land up there, jump back down here, then you're going to do this. Now, you can always be cheeky and just... Ah, uh, bad. Just do this. Let's say you're bad at butt slapping, which, fair. Um, you just do this and quickly do that, and you're good. Then we're going to do this combo the nail. This is the last goal before we go into fun park. By the way, it's not fun. Land it. Quick turn around. Now we're gonna start the fun part mission. Back so, I will say, this is the most infuriating part of the run because we do not know what causes this. And you will lose 20 seconds if you are on the bad side of this. So the entire goal right here is that we have to light up the dragon, get enough, or get enough kerosene can to light the dragon's flame. But there are times where no matter what you do, it will not work and you'll be forced to run back around as quickly as you can before the fire your flame and your uh, board goes out so that way you can start the uh, dragon's flames and you can that's a good 15 seconds lost immediately and again we don't know what causes it or how to prevent it it's all really annoying all right so it's a quick line can do this grab all the kids here team cans jump up here it happened to you on a casual playthrough like three times yep it's a uh, they never fixed that even with the patch it's really freaking cool we don't know what causes it it's just random it doesn't really matter how many kerosene cans you get or anything like that like this will not work sometimes 
So as soon as we do this, you pretty much pray to God that this works. Oh, it did not work. Oh, what are the chances? That's fine. So as soon as you know it doesn't work, quickly get off your board and come over here and get back on the dragon, um, on the back of the dragon. Then grind this again, and you should get it the second time. And then you have a save notification. Cancel that. Press A so you can cancel out of the next text box, and that way you're right here for this grind challenge. Jump over here. Grab that. More gaps and that challenge out of the way. Then we'll do a wall ride. Now there's gonna be another save text box. Cancel all that. We try last goal. Now we're going back to on top of the dragon. And we are going to pretty much before we get to the top, get off our board. We'll go fine for a second, and then we're gonna drop down here and grab the the secret spot token inside the dragon's mouth. Then we're gonna drop down here and start this stall goal. Alright, so this one's really weird. Like Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, do note that if you have a bad jump, you are allowed to manual. Uh, you are allowed to manual before uh, between stalls, um, and you should be good. But it shouldn't be hard, too hard to get that first or second try. Another preset combo. I'm bad. Land that, end goal, we try run, turn around, and run. Then we come over here and talk to this photo lady. This second right here is really annoying because the timing for the spine transfer is really, really dumb. So we have to do a 540 transfer of a melon. Um, then on top of that, to add to the difficulty, we have to have enough speed so we can get that secret spot token over there. Uh, if you have enough speed with a double butt slap, you should be able to get it. Um, but I can show you another method to make this easier. All right, so I got that first try. Um, you don't have to land that. As soon as you get secret token, that's fine. Um, as soon as you complete the goal, though, um, once you retry goal again, quit out of the goal, and that way you can get the this part, this uh, own one started, and you can use this as the um, retry point. So if you don't get that first try, what you can do is. I lied. Come over here, grab speed. Boneless. Oh, that should work. This pretty much be good about butt slaps. That's probably the best way to put it. You're probably wasting a lot of time in here. You're not good at butt slaps. Um, let's see, is there. Oh, there's not really a backup for this, though, either. On top of that, you could probably. Let's see. Oh, I guess you could do this. That works too, I guess. Anyways, um, now we're gonna just own the challenge. Pretty easy. Just three, four transfers and that. Now we're gonna do a distance uh, spot challenge. Get the secret token. Um, now there's two methods of doing this. If you don't get, you don't get this first try, which is like you know right here. Um, uh, you can just do a double butt stop to get that pro and I can show you um, But it's very easy to miss this one like really easy like it's easier to get the pro than it is the am So I'm gonna show you I can try getting this I got it though, but if you fail it retry last goal double butt slap Easy every time uh, Next we're gonna do another photo goal um, It does not matter if you do a bus level or not. You just want to just get up here and gain speed Like bus stops will not help you here and you should quickly grind up here edge over it the more speed you have going into it, the better but butt slaps really does not matter too much and as soon as you do the grind you do a pop shove it um, now this is the hardest um, bail challenge in the game we had it five bones which you would think from a high above it should be easy but it's not so pretty much as soon as you jump into there bail you got 15 of course I would is there a goal challenge in the game which is easier or faster on pro? Um, yeah, there's a few challenges throughout the goal uh, game that pro or sick is fast or not really sick, but pro is faster. I've already noted a few of them, um, but for the most part, it's am is pretty easy. Um, so as soon as we get that one, retry run, quit run, that we can get that gap, which is gulp. 
Then we're going to jump down here. Next, we have to do a uh, another bail mission. We have to do the gate slide. Ah, uh, got that one. Three, good. One, I'm not 100% sure, but you can get that goal with just grinding into the flash of the camera. Well, I guess it's good though because it kind of puts you like in the right position to, to quickly like go over and get the bail challenge started. But I guess either work works fine. Um, we get that manual done done. Now we have another preset combo with pivots and flatland because guess what? There is flatland in this game. But we just never use it. Not oh, bad. Land and combo. And then we come over here and talk to Mr. Jason Lee because this goal is infuriating. This is actually a really dumb goal. Uh, I will show you the, the quick way of doing it. Uh, what you do is you take this, quickly turn around, move it left one, down one, then quickly move this over twice and up one. Then you want to go here and get speed. Then you want to do a double bus slap. That way you can quickly jump over that and it's pretty simple and free. Um, there are other ways to do it, of course, but I'm really bad at this goal and I don't want to silent too long. Um, this is one of those goals that you just have to play around and see what you can do. Um, what you should be doing is like, you should be using both of these to like, you know, jump on this one on top of this one to get over here but that's slow so we go for a double butt slap so if you can go for it go for it double butt slaps are i wouldn't say they're easy but if you can get, if you can get double butt slap easy, uh consistently you should be good now we start the final classic of the entire game which is the fun part classic this one uh we are going for high score pro score high combo combo and find the secret to disc So this is the combo I go for because you need 400,000. I just got my board right there for safety. Then as soon as we land that, we just jump up here, go ahead and go on this rail and jump and grab both the secret uh, token and the secret disc. Then end run, retry run, mash A, end run, and we're good. We can just turn around and go this way. Um. So pretty much what I just did was I got 400,000 points, which I got 400,000 points going on right here. See, it's very easy to like lose that. Got combo, landed it. Then we want to wall ride up here. Then we want to get on this rail as soon as, pa as soon as possible, so that way you can just quickly jump. It's a really weird timing for it. I'm not gonna really go over it too much because it's it's, it's more of like a feel type thing. You just have to practice this a bit, and eventually you'll understand the timing for it. But as soon as you get the timing for it, it's pretty easy. Um, do note, however, that there is a, a, a roller coaster that's going around this entire park. It's set on a timer. Um, and there it is. Um, this thing will end your world. It will bail you, like right there, for example. Um, additionally, like as you can see, it takes a little bit to get up the slope. So if you hear it coming... Or if you know that it's ahead of you, just wait a moment, then ride the well rail, then get that, and you're good to go. All right, so now this is a hard check. Um, this is pretty much the only hard check in the entire run in terms of um, rank, but you need to be 36 before you start these last two goals, before uh, Project 8. You might be asking yourself, wait, we're not even close to the top eight. Well, I'll talk about that momentarily. But right now we have a hard check. We need to be 36 to start this next little bit. Otherwise, we won't be wasting so much time. It's ridiculous. So if you're 37, you can do this quick. You can do this own. Um, you can do this owned um, challenge. It goes around a little bit and lands over there. Um, and to get that last rank, you need to get the 36. If you're 38, uh, don't be 38 because. I don't know if there's an easier challenge. This might be an easy challenge somewhere, but I cannot think for the life of me think. Really, uh, can't think of it running around the top of my head. But 
if you even if you were really bad at your, bad at your gaps um, you should be good for the most part um, if you're 37 it sucks um, you're probably just missing some things in the run probably a secret spot or you're missing a couple gaps um, but you can just continue on over here get that last one but if you have 36 you can proceed so now we're going to do a let's go right here the last filming one in the game well I, I say that but there's actually another one So we land that easy and goal now we're going to do this last goal right here we're going to do the manual spot challenge land it get that and now you'll be like wait why are we moving up so fast well i can talk about that it's a trick called project a early and for this goal by the way all you have to do is just get the crowd pumped it's just keeping combos the entire time and not bailing and you'll be good to go but <coughs> it's a trick called um project a early that i discovered is actually a bigger extension of another uh, trick that I've, we have yet to name um it's more so um you can get okay how i explain this so during the game there are nine there are nine pro challenges um but in the most casual playthroughs you would get them all as soon as they unlock right but for us we don't really go for all any of them we just go for four four is required however the game actually looks for um goals completed like any goal spot challenges all that stuff um right now if we look i can't look right now i can't look right now but the the game would say that we have like you know a certain member if we have a certain number then we are allowed to start project eight um we hit and on that final goal with the uh what's it called uh the manual uh challenge that gives us exactly the right number we need to start this um so it's kind of called project eight early but it's more of that certain goals do not unlock I mean, certain things do not unlock unless you complete a certain number of challenges right here it's pretty easy like oh no is it so hard as long as the the any, any of the three bars don't go below the the yellow marker that you see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you're good so just don't bail have some sick ass combos and this is free If you fail at any point, by the way, you have to redo this entire goal from the beginning. <sighs> now we have to follow Jason really around. He's gonna do. He's gonna call out tricks. Damn it! Hello? Come on, stick with me. No, dude. Let me try it again. But again, this is all, oh my god. This is all preset. Um, so if you memorize this, it's good. Jason Lee, Jason Lee the space escape pimp. Yes. Dark slide. Hard flip, manual, and that's it. Now what you have to do is just follow Jason Lee around Capitol and the rest of Main Street. And that will, then we can start the final, final challenge of the entire run. Nice to impress Tony Hawk himself. There's like no preset like movement for this, by the way. They're all really fast as long as you know what I like. <laughs> as long as you know what you're doing and you go fast, it should be good. There's really not much a whole lot of difference between some routes. This route I'm doing without some of the fuck ups is what I've been doing most of the time. Copy pasta. There we go. Ah, oh, no, I didn't get that. It's really cool if you do that. You can do a, walk, a quick wall right up there. But now we are successfully up here. 
And T yeah, Tony's gonna be like, yeah, I'm so glad you're here. And it's like, bro, you never seen me once. So we had to do four invert tricks and four regular tricks on our own. Because with the invert tricks, he's gonna do his own thing. And for the regular tricks, we just had to do like flips or grabs for if the spin. So 540. We'll do a 540 flip. But we got 720, but that's fine. We can do another re invert. Then we have to do a 540 grab. And we just go back and forth between them. Not really much to say about this, unfortunately. This is the last invert, and I want to do a 720 grab. Then after that, we have to get, we have to impress the crowd with our own combo. So this is pretty much some improving going on. You can do whatever combo you want, but as long as it like is fast. Land it. I got did. Then I'm gonna wait a second, let go of any buttons, and as soon as your hands go up in the air like that, hold, hit A. That way you can get skip that cutscene. If you do it too early or too late, you're going to have to watch the entire cutscene, which is this time. But now we just have to get another trick. We just need 15,000 points in one combo, which is not really difficult. Oh, I lied. And also, be careful because if you go too far into the sky, the game resets you. So make sure you don't go too high. Land it. Boom. And that's game. As soon as you hit goal complete, that's GG. Yes, I remember losing the world record to that. And now we're on Project 8. That's it. Uh, now we're getting pro. Now getting top four, you have to do pros. Getting number one, you have to do sick. But we're not doing that. Keep ripping and you could make it to the top. Don't go too high. <laughs> but yeah, that is the entire run. I hope you guys enjoy this video, understand some more things about the game itself. Um, it is a pretty fun run, except for the lag. Some lag over here and there is kind of dumb, but that's going to be for any game.